All right, I like what I'm hearing about these, but what about the transfer portal? Do we, do we need, what do we need in the transfer portal? Uh, we have a couple kids that, I, that are on here that I'm really interested in. Yeah, but wait, don't, look who's, look who just got on. Oh, Man. Ochi. Woo! You got to be kidding me. Oh, All right, let me get on the phone. Let me get on the phone. That is amazing. Come on. Calling, calling, yeah, make sure you email. The recruiting process can be exhausting. There's a lot of sacrifices that you make when you're recruiting. What you're eating, how much you're sleeping. It's really a rat race a lot of times. 500 teams at one tournament. Ready, set, go. We're trying to make sure it makes sense geographically for us. Driving from field to field, watching games from 8 a.m. to sometimes 10 o'clock at night. <sighs> you just get used to that lifestyle, right? And my husband is like, okay, here we go. You know, and so for me as a head coach, I can send out assistants. It's just definitely a mindset you have to get into. You have to be like, okay, like I'm done with my team for now. I'm setting them aside. What's What do I need to look for um, for us to be able to compete three or four years from now? You have to plan and watching these athletes See the ones that have already verbally committed to you. See the ones that are coming up in the fall that have signed national letter of intents. And you gotta show your support and see where they're at so you know what your squad is gonna look like, your roster in the fall. Then you gotta look at those in this year's 25s and, and be ready on September 1st to call the ones that you want because the, the good ones, their phone is gonna be ringing off the hook and you wanna be the first to get to them. I'm gonna call the coach right now, okay? Then you also come back after an event and you get together. After these tournaments, you come together as a staff and say, who did you like? Who do you not like? Put the five stars, four, three, two, ones. Then you get ready for the next weekend and then the next weekend and then the next weekend. Then you have clinics that you could do that third parties put together. Maybe it's right before a camp. The newest thing that has been introduced to recruiting is the transfer portal. Any student athlete at an institution, no matter what division, can go to a transfer portal and you get updates. You can look and see who's on there, who's transferring. Once when they're on this transfer portal, then you can talk to them. That now has added a new dimension to recruiting because then you can get a college player who's established, like you know her numbers. You've got to jump on those transfer portal uh, athletes quickly. When you recruit a prospective student athlete, you try and know so much about them, not just on the field, but what do they like as an individual? What is their character? What about their family makeup? How they treat other people? right, including when you're watching them on the field, teammates. So it's more than just athletic ability. Can they hit the ball or pitch the ball? Can they field the ball? You know, they're gonna have the athleticism, but also buy in a way where they'll impact us on the field. Because you have to look at the makeup of a player and how that will fit into the team that you have and the culture that you currently have but also if you're wanting to change that culture and move into the future to meet your vision, is this a player that will get you there? Do they have a passion for the game? That's what I look at. Who is gonna be a player that's gonna bleed red, white, and blue? The most important thing to us is that you are able to experience the Lord and get to know Him better. I'm looking for athletes, student athletes, that want to be the best they can be and recognize that God has given them the gift to do that. And that you are an individual that wants to seize the opportunities that are before you. God's given you this gift to play a sport and through it, are you getting closer to Him? And are you honoring Him by expressing your gifts both on and off the field at the highest level that pleases Him? We're able to play whoever we want to play. It doesn't matter what 
conference we're in, we're gonna play all of the conferences. We are going to compete at the highest level. Are you prepared for that challenge?